It's Madden NFL 24, where division rivals will clash in the AFC East. It's the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots, and it's all up next. From a venue that's been sold out since it opened back in 2002, there's a look at the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon Gaudin and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. about ready to get us going. And we are underway in Foxborough. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school. Ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky, and he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard, knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster, and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. But that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Again, it's Stevenson. Breaks a tackle. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite an excellent display of footwork. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. Zappi back to throw. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. One of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 34. Running left is Stevenson, stiff-armed him. 
He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 12 more yards there and another first down. He's going to relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On first down, here's Zappi. Over the middle, complete. That's Parker. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll bring up second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Now Zappi. Open man is born. Well, he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Here's Zappi. And to find the open man. That's complete. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. And no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Play action supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Running wide side, Elliott. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain on the play as it takes us to the end of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Zappi from the gun. And that's going to be caught. Patriot touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster from four yards out. And the Patriots post the first points in the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. out is the kicker Ryland and he'll send this one away and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line with well, the Buffalo offense coming out and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm and in this league there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball while there are others who have big arms there aren't too many guys who can do both and at the end of many games this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive, Allen. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard game. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, our guy is better than your guy's. 
because you know a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people, and right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? Meanwhile, Allen Stroh going to be caught by Davis. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. On second down, here's Allen. And Diggs has it. And Diggs will have a Bills first down as he's down at the 17-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there in the back end. Well, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Zappi's throw here taken in by Parker. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Now they have completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Zappi. Got the connection here to Bull. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Hey, 
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll throw again with Zappi. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On second down, Zappi to throw it. Touchdown, Patriots! will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. The extra point by Ryland up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. kick it away. Oh, now how about this return? He's to midfield. Deontay Hardy. He's to the 15, 10, 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Bass on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Pats at the line ready to go. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. The run by Elliott, a good one on first down as he's able to pick up about six there. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. the party 
started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. On second down, Cook. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. They run again on first down, Cook. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Allen looks to throw on second down. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he's across midfield to the 48. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first down, Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A big play there on the catch and run. And the Bills will move the chains. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Back to the ground, Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Again, it's Cook. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Now Allen. That is caught. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. Throwing now is Allen. Touchdown, Bills! James Cook from eight yards out. And the Bills have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. 
getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and Previous off he plays. goes. And into the end zone. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Here's Bass now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was James Cook finishing things off with a touchdown catch. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. On the right side open is Kosicki. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now second and nine. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Patriots first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. But Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Zappi to throw on first down. Over the middle, he's got Parker. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Zappi's throw into the hands of Henry here. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. The heck of a move. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. See some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Go, 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 go. 
Zappi. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. Now second and four. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Zappi's throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. Here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Now Zappi. Pass on the out route caught by Smith Schuster. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Let's do this, man. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Well, they did the part they had to do. Quick throw got the first down. But that doesn't allow them to relax. They still have plenty of work to do. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And able to work his way down to the 16. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's second down and three. Zappi. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Here now, third down. Here's Zappi. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Two timeouts still at their disposal. Here's a first and ten now. Here's Zappi to throw. in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So illegal touching, Charles. If you set foot out of bounds as a receiver, you can't be the first to touch it. You nailed it on that one. You've got to be mindful of the sideline. Clock at 30 seconds, second and 10. Zappi to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills have just about sewn up this football game. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field, but sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given, and it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. 
Oftentimes, they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Here's Jones on the return. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.